I'm Mrs. Dr. Parker, and I'm here today to tell you about vancomycin resistant anticoxi. You know you can trust me, because I'm a doctor. hospital two weeks ago for a knee injury and I cut myself on the way there and I think it might be a little infected but I, just to make sure I thought I should come get it checked out. <clears throat> well it's definitely infected. Definitely infected. Mm. Yes. Yes. But just to be sure I think we should take a blood sample. Okay. Well, I got your test results here. And I'm sorry to say you do have an infection. And it's VRE. So when could I have gotten a VRE? Well, usually you get VRE with contact with contaminated people or things. Generally in the healthcare environment. So probably you got it when you went to the hospital right after you got the cut on your arm. So what are the symptoms of it? Well, the ones for wounds, you're pretty much already exhibiting them. Redness, you know, pain when you touch it. It's basically it for that but at least you don't have the urinary tract kind where you have frequent urina urination. Burning when you pee. Man, back pain, just really generally unpleasant. Then there's also the intestinal kind. Oh, you don't want that kind. You had some pretty spectacular diarrhea. And also you get weakness. You get chills, man, fever. At least you got the wound kind. So what exactly is VRE? Well, the bacteria that causes VRE is generally already present on your skin and in your bowels already. But it can become resistant to different sorts of antibiotics, especially when people overtake them or don't take their prescribed amount. And so when your health is already compromised, it can cause infections. So how exactly can this be treated? Well, if it gets really serious, generally you have to be isolated in the hospital. But since yours is really not that serious, I'll probably just prescribe you a combination of antibiotics because it is resistant to antibiotics. No! And I feel a lot better. And then as you're getting treatment, we'll probably have to keep on sending in tests just to make sure it's gone or see if it's still lingering around to see how long we have to actually keep on giving you medication for it. So how do I prevent future infections of it? Well, really good practice, of course, washing your hands, keeping them clean. Keeping your wounds clean, keeping them covered, so next time make sure it's wrapped so nothing can get into it. Also make sure your house is clean and just try to avoid what may be contaminated objects or people. Mm. Mm hmm. Definitely infected. <laughs>
Mm. Mm. Uh, infected. <laughs> you have like this look of delight on your face. Finally, BRE. <laughs> yeah.